Are you a woman between 20 to 45 years of age experiencing irritability? Or you feel very bloated, your breast is very tender, abdominal cramps, smooth swings just prior to your periods? You are not alone. 40% of women experience this. But that's why no one knows this is the reason. And that is called premenstrual syndrome. In the premenstrual syndrome, what do you think of it? You have done a lot of research. That's the correct answer. But what do you think of it? If you think of it, you can tell the hormonal imbalance. So, we have a lot of friendly hormones. That's the estrogen. That's in our ovaries. If you want to ask two friendly hormones, we will call them dopamine and serotonin. We will be calm, quiet, and husband will be able to see the hormones in the peak level. So, in the dopamine and serotonin brain, in the estrogen, in the ovaries. So, what do you think of the estrogen? The estrogen is the same as the estrogen. The estrogen is the same as the estrogen. The estrogen is the same as the estrogen level. Eastern level is more than norepinephrine or hormone levels are more than that. So, directly, the brain has the effect. What is the effect? There is a feel-good factor in the hormones. There is a dopamine and serotonin in the brain. The hormones levels are more than that. What is the difference between that? The husband is coming to see the same path. He is coming to see the same path. And also, he is coming to see the same path. So, this is the reason that you have mood swings, anger, etc. If you come to the pre-menstrual syndrome, what do you do? Yes, it can be diagnosed. If you have medications, you can't do anything in the wheat, you can't do anything in the wheat. Number one, avoid sugary processed food and also limit your coffee intake. This is your food changes. There are a lot of crumbs, there are a lot of bloated, I just have to have a chocolate or an ice cream or any fried food, french fries, that's what you think. But the first thing what you do, you eat junk, processed and oily fried fatty foods, it actually aggravates your cramps. So avoid next time sugary processed meal, pre-menstrual time, that's the periods of the days, Avoid it. Number two, I told you, reduce your amount of coffee or tea. And a caffeine intake can keep you, make you more dehydrated. So, hydration is very, very important at that point of time. Suppose, you have a hot tea, you can definitely have antioxidant properties, green tea, hibiscus tea, anything is okay. As long as you don't have excessive amount of caffeine in it. Moon of them. Physical activity, I can't work out. Of course, yes, cramps are not going to work out. But prior to you getting your periods or after periods, once you are comfortable, make sure at least half an hour to 45 minutes a day you work out. Because the physical activity definitely helps in the long run in reducing your premenstrual syndrome. Either alone that you can do it at home. Hot water pack akatom, ilana under mild yoga, stretching exercises. Dar alama you can practice when you have premenstrual syndrome. Ungloda gynecologist ninga arugi ninga na unglika teviyana hormone pills. Adavde in the oral contraceptive pills ne nanga prescribe pano. In the condition kagve hormonal pills prescribe pana and the symptoms um korey nariya vaipagal erka. So ippo unglik purnjer kono liya premenstrual syndrome na yenna ninga adha experience panir kengla illa unglik variyara na idha rumbo severe a experience experience pandra vanga unglik terenge dena do share this video with them and do get back to me on your questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them.